It's very rare that VOS gets to start one of these videos, but essentially what happens here is this idiot on the screen now is explaining that this dab radio was sent over by Lee, and he plugs it in. Okay, let's plug it in. And what happens is, it makes the camera turn off. Oh yeah, it goes off. And deletes everything on the SD card. Which is never a good sign, is it? <laughs> so there's no footage of it, just footage of his stupid face. Let's pick it back up from here where he turned the main camera back on and we're ready to roll. Right, that also made my camera turn off, which I'm slightly worried about. So it's plugged into the same USB socket down there. Hmm. Right, well, I won't be doing that again. There's obviously something fundamentally wrong with it. And obviously it doesn't turn on. That's the power button there. It's not doing anything. So I don't know if the screen is causing the issue or whether it's something else as well. But let's see if we can work out how to get into this. Once again... No visible screws. But there's a sign here that says open. Okay, and there's a screw behind there. Let's start with that. But before I do that, I've received this in the post. How awesome is this? This was sent over by Michael. So I need to find a place for this in the background somewhere. Because this is amazeballs. Thank you, Michael. Right, let's try and get into this thing. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It's still gonna hate, but I'm bringing it fresh. Straight out of Bolt VOS in the flesh. Like Monty Python said, you can skip a, a bit, bit, brother. Or like Vanilla Ice, you can wear it to your mother. Jonathan Harder, Mick Adams and Inflin. Tidda Ellis Garber, and Jam Rag from Berlin. Happy Wappy Flux, the Rocky Toxic Shadow. Daft Willie Quakerlit and Monkey Joe Tokyo. Old Man Weston, Aaron Marks, Wan Jockey. Neil Reynolds, Adam Taylor and Darren Kelly. Jonathan Wick, Oz Newton, Avon Bass. Markovic 19 in this rap in disgrace. Red Shorts, yeah, medieval Nigga Wegger. Knocking out these rhymes like Conor McGregor. Keeping me on my toes, we got the member Isabella and Marie O. And what's in my take us to the back end? Peace, feel us out. It sound right, boy. Nice. Uh. Okay, that cable there looks a bit chewed up. I don't think that's the problem. Let's start by taking out the board where the charging port is. Okay. Well, nothing's jumping out at me other than the creases in this cable. But I don't believe it's that. I think I need to get down to the screen. Let's take these screws out. Yeah, screen's definitely damaged. You can see it there. Oh! Nice. When Lee sent this over to me, he did send a couple of spare bits and pieces. There's a couple of spare screens here. But they're, they're obviously off different devices. Now, this one looks very similar. In fact, it, look, it looks the same, but it's obviously on a different board. So there's a possibility I can try and take this screen out of this and swap it over for that. But I think what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to take the screen out and then I'm going to see if it's still causing the USB amp meter to blow up. Yeah, let's start with that. How do I do that? Right, well, let's set this up for desoldering. Turn on the moving solder sucker and the fume extractor. Thank you. Right, it's slightly too small to get the desoldering going in here, so I'm going to have to put this under the microscope and I'm going to have to try and do it the old-fashioned way.
Well, let's see if that comes out now. Oh, nope, still in there. Still clinging on for dear life. Oh, oops. Oh, well, that's one way of taking it off. Yeah, I don't think I was supposed to do that. I need to make sure I don't do that with the screen that isn't broken. <laughs> oh well, never mind, it's done now. I can definitely go in the bin now, can't it? Right, the only other thing I can think of is just to put some hot air on this, try and just loosen that solder a bit. I might have to take out the other one using the hot air. There we go. Right, I'm going to try putting this back together then without the screen, and I'm going to see if we still get the same problem with the charging port. Got it. Let's try it now, see what it's doing. Oh, it's still doing it. Right, so it's not the screen. Hmm. Let's try disconnecting this from the board. Oh, let's try it now. Still doing it. So it is something on this board. Well, obviously the screen was broken anyway. You could see that, but there's something on this board. All right. Well, let's get this under the microscope and let's have a let's have a look. All right. So there's the charge port. Uh, the charge port passes the solid test. All right. So what we've we got on this port, we've got two grounds, which is here and here. Those aren't connected, and that's the power. And the power's not shorting to ground. Capacitors are not shorted. Uh, let's have a look at the port itself. Do you know what? I should have checked this first. The schoolboy error. Oh. Oh, we have damage there. Not a lot, though. I think it's just a little bit of plastic that's come off. But yeah, that is, it is damaged, isn't it? Oh, I know. Let's plug the cable in. And check it again for shorts. So that's with the cable in. And we've got ground, ground, and ground. Yep, so the power is shorted to ground when the cable is in. That would explain it, wouldn't it? Let's take it out again. Yep, and now it's not. Right, so it needs a new port as well. Nice. Right now I need to try and find a port that looks like that one. Let me see what I've got. I think that might be okay. It's very similar. Uh, yeah, it looks like the legs are in the right the same place. Okay, let's try that one. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Nice. I uh, definitely don't have my soldering shoes on today. Some would argue I never wear them. Right, I'm not quite sure how it's happened, but basically these two are now one giant pad, but it doesn't really matter because they're both ground anyway. It's just not going to look great. So these two will be connected together. All right, there we go. And I can definitely say that that is 100% worse than factory. Solid. 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 Double. Solid. Mess. Double solid mess. All right, well, it'll do. All right, might look awful, but let's see if it works. Well, it's not going off, so that's a start, isn't it? So the short is not there anymore. Let's plug it back in. Is it going to come on without the screen? I think it might do. Well, there's only one way to find out. Oh, 
He's not drawing any amps. Oh. Oh, 0.06. Battery might be really flat. 0.06 is really low. I'm just going to leave it plugged in for a bit and just see if that changes. Right, it's been charging for about an hour now and it has gone up. It's gone up to 0.82. So hopefully that battery has been rescued. Right, in theory then, this should turn on. Yes. It's obviously got the aerials not connected. And also in the clubs, the OS. Excellent. Right, now I just need to worry about the screen, don't I? And that's not going to be easy. First of all, I need to look at this and see if it's the right connection, because it might not actually be correct. Although it does look it. We've got the same points here, so I think it'll probably be okay. Yeah, it looks like the same screen. Okay, well let's try and take it out. Uh, obviously need to be a bit more careful this time. Uh, I think I am going to try hot air. So I'm going to add some leaded solder to these points. Okay, hopefully I haven't damaged it. Right, well let's see if it goes on. Right, well that's the backlight bit on. Whether it works or not is another thing. Let's see if we can get this on now. Right, I think we're on. I'm going to put that under the microscope so I can see it properly. Well, yeah, I think we're all good. They all seem to be there and they all line up. Nice. Right, well, it's on, and yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's, there's only one way to find out. I've got to t try and test it. Let's put it back together. Nice. Shame about this bit here. I seem to remember Vince doing one of these, and he tried to remove this and just made a <laughs> bit of a mess of it, if I remember rightly. So I think I might just leave it. All right, here we go. Let's try plugging the charger in first. Charger in and charge. Oh, and it's come on. Oh, it's gone off. No, it's come on. It's just, you can't see it now. So hopefully the backlight only comes on when you turn it on. Yes. Oh, yes. Four by 400 meters relay. The crowd had actually. Get in there. That's brilliant. And it's charging as well. You can see the charging battery indicator going up there. So a new charge port, new screen. Stupid radio.